Yo, what's up? So today we're checking out all the new MIDI transformation tools in Ableton Live 12. Some of them are absolutely crazy, might upset some people into are we actually making the music. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I have a MIDI clip. I play just a sequence of two chords. We have a piano and uh, some reverb delay. Uh, let's listen to it. Nice. Now I do have my scale selected, uh, which makes all these tools so much more amazing because everything uh, just keeping in scale. I'm going to go to the MIDI transformation tools tab here and we'll start with the arpeggiate. So first of all, let's make this full on block chords. I'm going to hold E. E will allow us to cut anywhere we want uh, in the notes, but I want it to be quantized. And I'm going to hold E and then hold command. And now it's going to be quantized slicing. Let's slice here also. Nice. Now I'm going to highlight all these notes and hit command option J and that will fit to time range. You can also highlight the notes, right click and choose fit to time range option. Command option J. Nice. Oh, I selected too long. It doesn't matter, but uh, as you can see here, they're going beyond the clip. Let's just select uh, this time range. Command option J. Nice. Okay, awesome. Uh, you can select all the notes or click in the background and it will select all the notes in the clip and we can start with the arpeggiate. So this does not replace the MIDI effect arpeggiator. You still have that. But this one does it in the clip, transforming the MIDI notes. Uh, so first of all, we have this style here. Let's choose up. And the uh, grid or the rate is according to the grid right now. So it's up to us to change it right here or right here. Or we can also use the keyboard shortcuts, Command 1, Command 2, and so on. So if I choose generate here, here we have just a basic up arpeggio. And we can change the grid side here. Or I can also, again, use my keyboard shortcut, Command 1, Command 3. Open the triplets, turn off the triplets, make it slower. And the gate will decide the length of the notes. Nice. Now, here we have the distance, which is right now 12 SD, which is scale degrees. If I turn off the scale awareness, it's going to be semitones. And this is what we, sh we kind of expect. Uh, in the older arpeggiator, when we use the steps, it's going to jump by an octave. But if we go back to the scale awareness, now it's going to be scale degrees, so that means that it's 12 scale degrees, it's a, more than an octave. But if we take it down, let's do like, uh, let's start with one scale degree. Let's do one. So it takes all the notes up one note higher, in the key, in the scale. Let's do two. Right, let's do like three scale degrees. Maybe we'll choose a different style, like Converge and Diverge. Really awesome stuff. Thumb, thumb up. And also go down. Also go crazy fast. I do expect a new revival of Black MIDI, the Black MIDI culture. I'll leave a link just for Wikipedia so you can check it out or some videos on YouTube. Black MIDI is insane. These tools allow us to access that type of extreme MIDI notes uh, very easily. So you can also do this type of stuff, which is super cool. Let's go back down. Nice. Another cool option here is the random once. So it's just going to give you a random arpeggiated um, pattern, which is super awesome. Let's generate again. Here's another pattern. And let's do an octave, which is seven. Nice. So that's the arpeggio, uh, arpeggiate uh, MIDI transformation tool. Extremely powerful, and we'll come back to it when we talk about another tool. We can do some cool examples with this. So that's the arpeggiate. Let's check out the next one. Okay, so we're back here with our original MIDI clip. Uh, let's uh, play it again. Nice. I'm going to go to our second MIDI transformation tool, which is Connect. This is where it's starting to get for me a tiny bit uh, too crazy. 
we can say overall on music that the one element that if we have it is probably unchangeable because it will change the entire song which is the melody so now if i want to develop this and add more melodic movements i can go and highlight all the top notes and go here to the connect tool and that will try to connect all these notes together with other notes in the key and we can spread them as many scale degrees as we want and have density let's just click once to see what's happening so it created a note I didn't want, let's click again. Again. And you can change the density. The tie, if there's uh, more notes that are tied together. And of course the grid, but this will be too fast. And the spread. How large is the range? Nice. Now, you also notice that if I click it, there are some uh, sections that don't create a melody, like between these notes and these notes. Now, the reason is because I play this live, and this note is slightly overlapping the next. So if I hit Command Z a second to remove these melodies, Okay, nice. And then I'm going to highlight all of these. We're going to use another tool, which is, we already had that. They just added to the MIDI transformation tools, which is the quantize. So let's go quantize or command shift U. And we're also going to adjust the note from the end. Let's hit command U. And now all these notes are ending, beginning and ending exactly on the grid. So if we go back, highlight these top notes, go back to connect. And now if we connect it, we'll also see melodies in between or connecting notes in between all the notes. Let's say, try again. Ah, I can also move those notes manually if I want. Let's go scale. Let's move them here. Okay, crazy stuff. Let's continue. And I'm gonna go to the next one, which is ornament. And ornament is also, let's take like this note right here, and I'm gonna click low. And now it's gonna add a note right before it. Let's say uh, change the grid here, first of all. Yeah, and maybe something like 20%. Let's take this, let's go from the high. And that let's make the grid smaller so the position is according relative to the grid and i'm going to generate it a few times actually let's do undo that and do the position here and generate a few times crazy stuff flam is more for drums we'll explore it in another video might be too much And let's bring it back. Uh, Grace Notes, super cool. Let's go here, go from the high. Nice. Next one, we talked about quantize, it's recombine. And recombine will take all the selected notes and let's adjust them all. And you'll see if I move them, they're essentially kind of like just scrolling right now because we have everything, both the pitch, length, and velocity that are being recombined, being scrolled or moved. We can do only, let's say, the pitch. So now if I move it one, see, only the pitch, so we can create some other kind of sequences, patterns. We can mirror. And shuffle, just randomize it. That's also with the length. Let's do it with the velocity. Okay, I'm gonna click in the background. Every time I click in the background with any of these tools, that means I'm committing this to the clip. 
I would recommend always having an extra clip with your original uh, just to do experiments and to have it uh, saved. So that's the recombine. Next we have the span. And the span can change all the notes length. So we can make them all legato, just last until the next note, staccato. And tenuto, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, will allow you to add variation and even offset all the notes to overlap with the next ones. So that can be very useful to add some humanization to the length of the notes. Nice strum, pretty straightforward. In this case, I don't know what we have to strum. So let's go a second to our, uh, to here. Well, then we'll cut it with command E. Let's cut it here. Fit to range, command option J. And now if we highlight this, we can strum the chord and decide if we want it to sound for, from below or above. I'm not even playing this clip right now, but um, pretty straightforward, very popular request. Finally, we have it. So that's the strum. Let me go back. Nice. Uh, we also have the time walk, which, which I did demonstrate in a different video about how to program JD Beck drums with the new rhythm generation tool. So you can check that out. But let's do a cool uh, experiment here. I'm going to go back to this clip. Um, I don't want to strum it anymore. And I want to make this a full code. Let's go and arpeggiate. And we're going to do random once. Let's do super fast. Let's launch this. Hmm, maybe something like this. Okay, that's kind of extreme, but let's take this. I'm going to go then to the time warp. And here we can essentially adjust, kind of stretch and compress the timing of all the notes. Uh, let's start with just two stages here. So as you can see. Okay, just see we can stretch them or compress them into each other. I'm going to add a third stage. And we're going to make it sl speed up and then slow down. I'm just going to make sure when the chord change, it's chord changing at the fifth bar there, roughly. Oh, here we go. And we can also quantize that if we want, but you see in this case, let's make the grid smaller. So maybe, if you want to be quantized, right now it's going to 256. You can also include the note end, uh, which will change the note length as it compresses and expand. Um, so it let me people choose a, um, a different synthesizer here instead. Let's try the meld. Turn off engine B. Let's bring up our MIDI. Now it's nice and Ableton 12, you can do both. And Crazy stuff. So that's the time warp. We also have a velocity shaper. This is like a custom Max for Live example that they gave, but a new tool uh, that can take the uh, velocities and essentially apply this shape to it. And this is a multi stage envelope, so you can add as many points as you want and adjust the shape accordingly. Let's hold Shift to delete some points here. And maybe we'll do like a rhythmic thing, so we'll turn on the looper right here. Now we also have to have the synthesizer or instrument uh, have a velocity affecting something. Let's open the matrix here. We'll take velocity, let's apply it to the filter. And maybe some other stuff. Maybe looping even more. So really cool stuff with the velocity. Now we also have uh, starting to see these new tools that developers are creating, like this free one called Chord Palette. This is uh, another 
a media transformation tool that you can download for free. And if I go and just create one note here, go to my code palette. Now I have this endless, not endless, but I have a huge list of code types that I can choose. Let's say major six, nine, sus 11. And I click on this button and it creates that code for me. There's endless, I'm mean, not endless again, a lot of uh, inversions for each code. And you can go into the menu and do a lot more stuff like uh, strum, jitter the notes, velocity, change the uh, randomized velocity, um, keep it in key. A lot of awesome stuff, different pages for different codes. Um, so code palette is free. I'll put a link in the description. Now we should expect a lot more tools, both for the MIDI transformation tools and the generative tools for all the insane Max developers that are out there. So keep your eyes open. I think these might be one of the most exciting new features in Ableton Live 12. I absolutely love them. I'll continue exploring them and they're blowing my mind already. So hope you like, I'll catch you next time.